Uh, so hi everybody, I'm just signing on because I wanted to tell everyone um, about some things that you can do that you would normally want to do under regular everyday circumstances to stay healthy and that you can use, especially at moments like this where COVID-19 coronavirus is going around. Um, I work uh, as a makeup artist in TV and film and in fashion, so I'm always up in people's faces all the time. And obviously right now they're saying, you know, give your friends from some space, don't shake hands, things like that. Um, so let's go a step farther and talk about other things that you can do, whether you're a pro makeup artist or whether you're just someone trying to stay healthy. A um, few things. First of all, there's a lot of talk about hand sanitizer right now. Um, these are two that I really like. These are called Jow. Um, they're 65% alcohol and ethyl alcohol specifically. And um, hand sanitizer is a really important step for killing germs, but it's important to remember that hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer does not replace washing your hands. There are so many studies that says that it's a really good thing to do. It definitely decreases the number of germs on your hands. It damages bacteria, um, but hand washing is always, always going to be the best way to make sure that your hands are clean. Um, so that goes without saying anyway. So let that maybe be something that helps you feel calm in moments like this. Um, so hand sanitizer, definitely use it um, regularly. Don't rely on it entirely. Copy. Great. That's what we say. That's how we say okay in film and TV. We say copy. Um, another thing, um, there's always so much information on um, the Center of Disease Control websites and National Institute of Health. Just make sure you're getting your, and the governor's website now of New York, New York State. So um, make sure you're just getting your information from reliable sources. Um, I'm also wearing my, um, one of my trashiest t-shirts because it is uh, a little warm in my trailer and I have a day off. So here we are. And um, this is a product I really, really love. It's called Beauty So Clean. And what I really like about this product is that um, compared to alcohol, what Beauty So Clean does is it actually kills germs because straight up alcohol can, in a lot of cases, it can damage bacteria, but it may not actually kill it. That's a very important distinction to understand. Some things can harm bacteria and then weaken them. And so other ones actually kill it. This is something that's more powerful than alcohol. So if you're talking about cleaning your makeup kit or you're talking about cleaning your um, products that you have at home, this is something that you should really use. I've used it in my trailer for years. I've never had anybody get sick or have a problem from makeup or, or anything like that. So I encourage everybody to use it. This is again called Beauty So Clean. They make a brush cleaner, they make the spray, and just to show you how you use it, um, it this is a makeup powder. All you need to do one little spritz and in 10 seconds it kills all the bacteria on the surface of your makeup um really really important to do that regularly and uh important again don't share makeup with anybody else like i don't do that at work and that's why maybe people don't get sick so keep that up uh next uh they talk about on all the different websites about bleach bleach is a really important thing just for killing non-makeup things right so Clor clorox wipes great thing to have just so you can clean up things easily on the go um, you can wipe down like your backpack, like the ha backpack handles, your purse straps, things like that. Wipe them down. Obviously don't use bleach on your purse straps if it's like something that's gonna get bleached, but you know what I'm saying. Um, antibacterial wipes. Antibacterial wipes, it says right on the package um, that it cleans better than hand sanitizer. This is important because again, hand sanitizer helps, but um, I used to date a microbiologist and one thing that he told me is that one of the reasons that doctors scrub their hands so hard, and if you've ever watched TV, you always think like, great, getting in there, right? Um, the physical reaction of rubbing actually helps to damage and kill germs. So that's an important step when you're washing your hands. That's why you really want to scrub really, really good. And if you're a pro makeup artist, remember things like um, these, these are great. This is sanitation conversation. They're wax paper strips um, that, they're palettes. So you can put whatever makeup you need to on the palette and you can pick it up with a brush and then you can put it on your client's skin and then they're all good and then when you're done tear off the paper throw it away and you've got a brand new clean surface to work off of so that you're not sharing um you know a used palette with anybody and you know back in the day makeup artists used to always especially in fashion or you know you put the makeup on the back of your hand and you work off of that Eve Pearl, I'm mean, an amazing, amazing makeup artist. She's got this sort of makeup palette. It's it's a plastic palette and it's got a ring on it. So you can actually wear it on your hand. So if you're a makeup artist that likes to work off the back of your hand, 
don't do that. Instead, get the Eve Pearl makeup palette that's wearable. It's really lightweight. You can just put it on the back of your hand and then same deal, you can work off your hand. Um, know that you're also practicing really, practicing really good hygiene practices. Um, so that is all for now. I shared some tips right now too, but remember information is changing all the time. So make sure you get the most up-to-date information as well. And if you have any questions, message me and thank you. Stay healthy.